Hi, I'm Kathleen Sams with Red Heart Yarns and I want to show you a couple of different methods of doing ribbing or rib knitting. Um, these are the two most common and what, what everyone seems to have a problem with when they learn how is when you're doing uh, a standard rib would be knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And it's a matter of bringing the yarn back and forth. So we're going to start off in this case with a knit stitch. So we're going to pull our stitch through, slide it off. Then we have to bring the yarn forward. And then we're going to purl. That's where you're going into the stitch from the right to the left in the front. Yarn around your needle slide that off. Then you need to pull your yarn back again. And you can develop a rhythm as you do this. Just always remember the yarn for the purl comes front, go to the back, and then we're going to knit. Do a few more stitches. Purl, back, knit. And you can see it makes a little bit of an elastic. And this has been used uh, a lot for ribbing on hats, uh, sweaters, the cuffs of sleeves. Um, it's a great stitch to even use if, uh, if you're working on a sweater. And then there's another one that I like a lot, which is knit two, purl two. Same thing again, you're just doing two knit stitches, two purl stitches, and it has a little more elastic to it. As you can see, it draws in, and I really like the look of this. Now here's a little tip when working the knit two, purl two ribbing. If you start with knit two, purl two, you're going to end with the knit two. And that way, when you're seaming, say you're making a hat, you're going to seam it, you pull it together, and you can pick up your little uh, edges and the stitches will come out perfectly fine. And that's how easy it is to work the rib stitch.